Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well today. So for today's video, I am going to be sharing my Sassy Girl Aroma Collection with everyone. So um, Charity here, Charity Rose on YouTube, she started a tag video for everyone to share their Sassy Girl Aroma Collection to show love and support for Julie, who is the owner of Sassy Girl Aroma. Unfortunately, a few weeks ago, um, Julie's storefront had a fire and unfortunately the total, the business was just a total loss. So my heart goes out to Julie. Like I can't even imagine what she's going through right now. I know she's going through so much with the passing of her son in January and now losing her business. Like my heart just goes out to her and her family. They have been in my thoughts and prayers and I just wanted to show my love and support for Julie and her shop by showing my collection with everyone. So we are just gonna jump right in. I have a pretty big collection, which I kind of already knew because Sassy Girl Aroma is my favorite vendor. She was the first vendor that I purchased from in December of 2021, and she just quickly became a favorite vendor of mine. She is my just number one vendor. Her wax performs amazing for me. Her blends are amazing. I've never had a dud from her and I just love her wax. So I knew that I had a big collection, but once you actually go through and you gather everything up, it's pretty eye-opening just to see how big my collection actually is. So we are just gonna jump right in. I am gonna start with my loaves because I only have two of those, and I'm not gonna smell every scent because we would be here forever, but this first one I will definitely smell because it's just one of my absolute favorites from her. And this is her Night on the Beach, which is just her plain beach nights. This is a warm blend of toasted marshmallow, sea salt, breeze, and s'mores. <sighs> yep. <sighs> Her beach nights is just the best. She has the most amazing beach nights ever. I know I have another brittle or two in my collections. We will get to that eventually, but that is my loaf of night on the beach. And the second and last loaf that I have is North Pole Cookies, which is peppermint, vanilla, and whipped buttercream. I think this is the dupe of the uh, peppermint sugar cookie from uh, Bath and Body Works. And I love this scent. Oh, yep. And it smells exactly like the candle. I have multiple candles in my collection and this smells exactly like it. That's another thing I love about Julie. She can dupe anything. And her, sometimes her dupes even smell better than the originals. So that is North Pole Cookies. Next, I do have one mini loaf here in Huckleberry Beach, which is her beach nights mixed with uh, huckleberries. All right, we are going to move on to brittles. First one I have here is Beach Bum, and this is Beach Nights and Shake Your Boom Boom. I have strawberry filled Twinkies. This is sweet strawberry jam with Twinkies and vanilla cream. I have strawberry cupcakes, which is strawberry vanilla cupcake with buttercream frosting. Next is another favorite blend of mine. This is Sweet Nights. This is her sweet lavender mixed with beach nights. This is one of my favorite Beach Nights blend and like my favorite lavender blend of all time. Her lavender is so good. I love it. Really love it. If you like lavender and Beach Nights, I highly recommend that you put this on your order list when Julie reopens because this blend is amazing. Next, we have blueberry pie. This is sweet blueberry and pie crust. I have vanilla cashmere. This is an elegant soft musk with notes of vanilla. And this is really, it really is exactly like it says. It's just an elegant, like bougie vanilla Ugh, with a hint of musk. This is so good. This is one that surprised me because the notes don't really speak to me, but I wanted to try it and go out of my comfort zone. I'm so glad that I did because it is so good. Up oh, Here is a half a brittle of <laughs> Night on the Beach, her plain beach nights. I knew I had more of it in my collection. This one might be my favorite Beach Nights blend. This is Orca Island. This is Blackberry Beach Nights and Birthday Cake. I know I have another brittle of this in my collection that I'm working on, so we'll get to that at some point too. Oh, her Blackberry is amazing too. 
with the beach nights and the birthday cake. Delicious. This might be my favorite beach nights blend. Next, I have Clouds Over the Boardwalk, which is vanilla, whipped cream, marshmallow, meringue, sandalwood, and white magnolia. So this is her version of Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds. Next, we have Coraline's Beach, which is blueberry, zucchini, vanilla bean noel, pumpkin waffles with beach nights. You're going to see a lot of beach nights blends here because I absolutely adore her beach nights. Next is Santos Royale. This is Palo Santo Sugar Cookie Royale and Toasted Marshmallow. This one is very similar to um, L3's Today's October 3rd. Next, I have Heading to Camp. This is Toasted Marshmallow Burnt Sugar, Sticky Sweet Cocoa Vanilla, and a Hint of Smoky Firewood. And this one really just smells like a campfire with that s'mores. Mm, so good. I have, I know I have another brittle in here too, of Adam's Beach Party. This is Strawberry Pound Cake with Beach Nights. Her Strawberry Pound Cake is amazing, which I actually have right here. <laughs> Audrey May, this is Freshly Sliced Strawberries Warm Pound Cake and Whipped Cream. This smells exactly like the Bath and Body Works dupe. Next, um, here's the brittle that I'm working on in Orca Island. We have Beach Wedding. This is Beach Night Wedding Cake and Marshmallow. This is just a really creamy, mm, creamy, creamy beach nights. So good. We have Amityville, which is very similar to Heading to Camp. This, it's burnt sugar, whipped cream, sticky sweet cocoa vanilla, fresh from the oven bakery, and a suitable hint of smoky firewood. So it's heading to camp mixed with that bakery note, the oven fresh bakery. This one, Summer, Michelle got me to fall in love with. She had sent me a couple pieces to try. This is Butter Your Buns. This is salted butter, slight hint of cinnamon, quickly melting into a fresh from the oven steaming buttery biscuit. This is just an amazing bakery. Oh, yep. The butter, the cinnamon, and it's not like a spicy cinnamon. It is just so good. Next, we have Blog, which is um, a dupe of Lush's uh, shower gel that they bring out sometimes in the Christmas time called Yognog. This is sweet melted butter, rich notes of brown sugar, and tiny hints of nutmeg with cocoa butter and a dollop of sweet melted vanilla ice cream. We have Bonfire Flurries. This is like one of my new obsessions from Sassy Girl right now. A so snowy, snow, so cozy blend of toasted marshmallow, pink lavender, and cashmere woods. And I just feel like this is exactly what it says. Oh, such a cozy, amazing bedroom blend. I feel like you get equal parts of everything. The toasted marshmallow, pink lavender, and cashmere woods. So, so good. Next, we have Crushing 71 at the Beach, which is the um, the Sol de Janeiro 71 mixed with Beach Nights. So this is caramelized vanilla, toasted macadamia nut, sea salt, white chocolate, toasted marshmallow, sea salt breeze, s'mores, and coconut blossom. Next, we have Blueberry Disneyland, which I think she renamed uh, Going to Waltz. This is blueberry, pineapple, orange, strawberries, cotton candy, lemonade, and whipped cream. Next, we have mistletoe kisses. This is candy cane, Christmas cookies, sweet lavender, and cotton candy. Jack's Halloween Obsession. This cauldron full of apple spice with clove and cinnamon makes for a ghoulishly grand brew. So this is the Scentsy dupe of Jack's Halloween Obsession, or Jack's Obsession, and it really does. It smells exactly like Scentsy's Nightmare Before Christmas. Like, amazing, that's why I said her dupes are just phenomenal. 
And the other dupe that she did for the Scentsy Nightmare Before Christmas is the, the dupe for Halloween Town. This is Night Before Halloween. This is everybody's scream for a sinister potion of cranberry, apple, and spiced cedar wood concocted in the dead of night. And same thing, it smells just like the Scentsy Halloween Town bar. Next is Marie. This is Beach Nights mixed with Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds. Amazing. Two of my favorite scent notes mixed together. Love it. This is birthday cake. Freshly baked birthday cake with a sweet frosting. At the North Pole, I fell in love with this scent because a charity raved so much about it here. Uh, this is sweet peppermint sticks with a creamy rich vanilla. And that's exactly what it is. It's just a really rich, creamy peppermint. It's not a nose clearing peppermint at all. My Wish for Christmas, freshly baked sugar cookies surrounded by pine and pine cones scented in a fireplace. Such a beautiful tree bakery scent. Apple Butter Delight. This is slow cooked apples, caramelized sugar, brown butter, steamed milk, and creamy caramel. Really beautiful apple. Beach Flurries. This is Toasted Marshmallow Sea Salt Breeze S'mores Pink Lavender and Cashmere Woods. So it's her beach nights mixed with pink lavender and cashmere woods. Another great beach nights blend. Noelle's Fluffy Birthday. This is Vanilla Bean Noelle Marshmallow and Birthday Cake. We have Pink Fairy, which is compared to Cotton Candy Clouds by Bath & Body Works, Spun Sugar, Pink Berries, Whipped Vanilla. And this really does smell exactly like Cotton Candy Clouds mm, from Bath & Body Works. I love this one. It's a really beautiful spring summer scent. We have Fall Bakery, Zucchini Bread, Pumpkin Cookies, and Apple Pie. We have a full brittle of Adam's Beach Party. I knew I had another one in my collection. We have Suki, which smells like a baker's kitchen with sweet batter and vanilla extract and fresh baked cookies. Walking in the rain, sugar, vanilla orchids with a little extra to make you feel like you're in the tropics. Montego Bay Blackberry in Beach Nights with Marshmallow. This is another one of my favorite Beach Nights blend. I do have this in a full size perfume. I forgot to grab that because I've been currently using it. But yes, this is another beautiful mm, Beach Nights Blackberry blend. So, so good. Next, we have Romantic Interlude. This is Beach Nights mixed with Zucchini Bread, Blueberry, Vanilla Bean Noel. We have Garcia, which is sugar cookie, zucchini bread, and birthday cake. We have pumpkin pie frosted cookies. This is pumpkin pie, pink frosting, sugar cookie dough, frosted sugar cookies. We have another brittle that I'm currently working on in Marie, which is her beach nights in Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds. We have Honey, I Bathe the Kids, which is compared to Honey, I Wash the Kids from uh, Lush. This is Citrus, Honey, Floral, Vanilla, and Musk. Hawaiian Smoothie, which is Sweet Pineapple, Coconut Milk, Banana, and Vanilla. And then, let me see, I think this, I think that was my last brittle that I had. Yes. The next few things that I have here is a few bags of blocks and some um, mini muffins. So I have three mini muffins here. The first one is in Paisley, which is pink sugar, Lord of Misrule, and vanilla bean Noel. I have Fanny Hawthorne, which is Fruit Loop, 7-Up Pound Cake, vanilla bean Noel, and cotton candy frosting. And the last mini muffin I have is Never Sleep Again, which is Smoky Woods, Cinnamon and Clove, sweetened with a little vanilla, bean, and caramel. 
And then I have my bag of blocks. The first one I have here is frosted lemon cookies. This is sugar cookies with sweet lemon buttercream frosting. I have plain old night on the beach. Okay, so I have a brittle that I'm currently working on. I have a bag of blocks and I have a loaf. So I think I'm stocked on beach nights for a while. Next is blueberry pumpkin cornbread, which is pumpkin pecan waffle, blueberry cornbread, and vanilla bean Noel. This is one of my all-time favorite blueberry scents. I think she renamed this Buried Alive. It's such an amazing blueberry bakery. I love this scent. Next, I have Santa's Beard, which is creamy nutmeg, vanilla bean Noel, peppermint candy, and sugar cookies. Two. This one is Surfside. This is Sweet Lavender with Beach Nights and Sugar Cookies. So it's very similar to the um, the Sweet Nights. I think the Sweet Nights is just the Sweet Lavender in Beach Nights. The Surfside is the Sweet Lavender, Beach Nights, and the Sugar Cookie. And then my last bag of blocks here is Christmas at Santa's. This is Pepperberry Wreath, Sugar Cookies, and Marshmallow Fireside. And then the last thing that I have to share here is I wasn't able to film a video beforehand before everything had happened, but I did order the Elvis sampler that she did in honor of her son, Andrew, that passed away in January. So I did want to share this. She included a bracelet that says mental health awareness. And she also included a pin that says mental health awareness, break the stigma. I want to put that pin on my work jacket. So she did the little uh, bricks here. I believe that's what she calls them as bricks. The first one is hound dog. This is creamy milk, butter, vanilla, and sponge cake. We have heartbreak hotel, which is caramel, pecan, and bread. I have Can't Help Falling in Love, which is, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right, Labdum, Creamy Sandalwood, and Spicy Oud. Blue Suede Shoes, which is Blue Sugar, Cashmere, and Suede. Jailhouse Rock, which is Blackberry, Mango Sherbet, Fizz, and Cotton Candy. We have Little Sister. This is coffee, creamer, coconut milk, espresso roast, maple syrup, cocoa chips, and coconut shavings. Burning Love. Now this one I think might actually be my favorite out of the whole sampler. And this was actually the one that I didn't think I would like based on the scent notes. It says all of Elvis's favorite scents, bergamot, patchouli, citrus, jasmine, plus pineapple and white cedar. Now this one, oh my God, to me, this is what like what Elvis would smell like to me. Like when I smell this, I picture just what this is what Elvis would smell like. <laughs> like you get a slight hint of masculine and then like a sweetness from like the pineapple. And I don't know how to describe it. This is just absolutely amazing. And this is definitely going on my reorder list. For when Julie does reopen shop again, I would love to get this in either a bag of blocks, a brittle, even a loaf if she offered it because this is just absolutely amazing, amazing. Next is always on my mind. This is creamy coconut and fresh baked cake. Love me tender, which is chocolate chip and oatmeal raisin cookies. Graceland, which is peanut butter and banana sandwich. Hard-headed woman, which is red apple, wild berries, raspberry blossom, vanilla flower, amber crystal, and black currant. And last for my Sassy Girl Aroma Collection, I have Don't Be Cruel, which is raspberry, lemon meringue, and pie crust. 
And yes, that is my Sassy Girl Aroma collection. I hope you all enjoyed seeing this. And if you do have a collection that you would like to share, I hope you all share it here on uh, YouTube. Even if you don't make videos, if you want to post it on her Facebook group, post it on Instagram. I don't have Facebook or Instagram, so this is my only social media that I have. So I wanted to share my video. I know it's a little late, but just been busy and haven't had all the time to film yet. So I wanted to wait until I had the time to do this video properly. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed seeing what I have. Julie and Tyrell and family, I just wanna let you guys know that I am praying for you. I am sending love and prayers your way. And I just hope that you guys can pull through this stronger than ever. And I just cannot wait for you guys to get back up on your feet and open up shop again. And I will be placing probably my biggest Sassy Girl Aroma order when that does happen to show my love and support for you guys. I know that you're all going through such a tough time and my thoughts and prayers are with you. And I hope that you can get through this soon. And, and yeah, I just wanted to share my love and support with you all. And I hope you all will do the same, whether it be here on, you know, YouTube or Facebook or Instagram. And yeah, that is all that I have for you today. I hope you all enjoyed watching. Please let me know in the comments down below what are some of your favorite Sassy Girl Aroma scents. Maybe there's some that I haven't tried before and I can add to my order list for when she does reopen. I love trying new Sassy Girl Aroma scents. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below what are some of your favorite scents. And I will see you all in my next one. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you again soon. Bye.